Hi beautiful people, Joe Corbisiero again here with the Dream Home Steam and Compass. I am excited today, I wanted to share some of my secrets here. How do I analyze a deal? What do I do in order to maximize the profit of my properties? And uh, what's a good deal, what's not a good deal? Well, let's start with this. There's a couple of rules that I live by. Number one rule is the 1% rule. What does it mean? So I've been you know, investing for the past 15 years in San Diego and Riverside and different areas. I did also Florida, so different areas. Let's put it like that. What's the best number for me that I always like, to me is like such a, an important rule is the 1%. If I purchase a property for $300,000, right? I'm expecting to get at least $3,000 in gross rent, all right? So, and if you use a rule, trust me, you're gonna mitigate a lot your risk. So I'm gonna give you some more tips here. Minimum per unit that I usually do is a $400 per unit after I pay for electricity or whatever, gas, water, um, mortgage payment, taxes, insurance and whatnot. So you want to be at least at a $400 mark per unit. Now, if you're new to this game, of real estate investing in real estate, you obviously cannot just jump in and buy a 20, 30, 40, 50 apartments um, complex. You could, I mean, if you have a good job and you actually have a really high W2, you might be able to do that. So it's a totally different ball game when you get into a commercial. But in order to mitigate the risk, if you start with a two, three, four units, it's always best actually to have attached unit. If you get a fourplex and they're one next to each other, you have one roof, most likely you have one or two water heaters. So those are the most important things and the heating systems. So when you do that, you kind of mitigate the risk a little bit because if you have four single family homes, now you got to deal with uh, repairs on four roofs or uh, four different water heaters, four different systems for heating and, and components and whatnot. So it's easier if you put them under one roof. So remember that rule. Then least but not, uh, last but not least, remember this. There is something called the pro forma, there's something called the projector rent. When I talk about this, 300,000, you get 3,000, that means projected. Most likely you're not gonna find a deal on the market that's $200,000 and you make $2,000 as it is. You might have to invest a little bit of your money into that. With that said, trust me, follow my videos here. I'm gonna break down some other golden rules. Feel free to reach out to me. My name is Joe Corbisier once again, and thank you for watching this video. Ciao.